Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is the hunter cotw underscore f has stopped working. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to try these in launch options. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and go to the general tab in the launch option, type in slash borderless and then paste it under launch option over here. All these are provided in the video description and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try this slash window paste it over here, hit the now launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try full screen. So just type in slash full screen over here, launch the game and then you can check. Check which one is working fine for you. Now it's still not working. The next step is to disable DLCs, especially this one. So you can go to Steam, click on the game and on the right hand side here you can see DLC under DLC you will see manage three manage DLC you might have multiple DLC now you have to uncheck DLC so uncheck all the DLC and then launch the game and then check and if you have this DLC you can try to uncheck only this DLC and launch the game and then check so disable D DLC and then check if that does not work uncheck steam cloud and then launch the game but if you want to uh, keep steam cloud in that case you can keep it checked so you can try this uh, you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the general tab and turn off the option which says steam cloud which says keep, keep games saves in the steam cloud so you can turn this off and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to delete reserve world data underscore edf or delete these files but create a backup first because you might lose you may lose that you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so you can create a backup for these uh, files first now for this you can open file explorer on your computer go to documents over here and then open this folder now open cotw folder open saves folder open this folder now over here you can just first of all find this reserve world data dot uh, underscore adf so here you can see reserve world data underscore edf copy this create a backup first so once you have a backup created now you can delete it you can delete it or you can even rename it so you can delete it and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even uh, delete this steam auto cloud so find steam auto cloud here you can see steam auto cloud so copy this again copy this file paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can either delete it or you can rename it and then you can check if that does not work find this player information so find this player information underscore adf copy the, again copy this file paste it over here and then once you have a backup created now you can make a right click you can delete it or rename it and then you can launch the game and then check this has worked for many uh, players so it might work for you now if you face any problem you can always put the files back now the next step is to unplug the controller now for many players uh, this has worked so you can unplug or disconnect the controller and then launch the game once the game is up and running you can connect the controller once again and then check next step is to go to this uh, location uh, open the settings actually settings uh, folder so for this you can go to uh, documents and then go to uh, go to the game folder If you find the um, settings, uh, yeah, settings, settings, let me try to open with notepad. No, this is not the one. You can go back. Uh, this is the one. You can open this one, saves, and then 
uh, over here uh, open this settings now once you open settings now you can open this and open this settings.json file make a right click then open with select notepad once you open it with notepad now over here uh, you have to display full screen you have to find display full screen over here uh, find display yeah display full screen now if this is set to one you can just set it to zero and then go to file click on save launch the game and then check if that does not work uh, now find display width over here and find display width over here so display width and yes yeah, so if your resolution is in my case i have put it like 1680 into 1050p you can select your resolution so suppose if your uh, if you have if your windows resolution is 1920 into 1080p you can try this 1920 you can type in over here 1920 and over here you can just type in 1080 and then you can go to file click on save you can even change you can lower down the resolution if you want so this is just an example and then once you save it now you can launch the game and then check next is to delete the settings folder in documents now for this uh, you can just uh, go to documents and go to this open this saves and here create a backup first because you will lose all the saved settings so you, if you want you can create a backup once uh, you have a backup created now you can just delete this settings folder make a right click and delete it and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can rename the game folder in documents create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch now for this you can go to documents over here you can copy this folder paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can you can rename this folder and then once you rename it you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch but you already have a backup so if you if you face any problem you can always put the folder back so once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check next step is to remove mods or you can uninstall mods this has worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to if you're using any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security then go to windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app click on browser apps and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so find the game in the list so in my case this is the location so wherever you find uh, wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open if you find any other exe file make sure that you allow all the exe file so this is the only exe file once you add it now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case uh, the game is already added once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from here make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then you can launch the game from here so make a double click over here launch the game and then check if that does not work make a right click on the game exe file go to properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to 
verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now for amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to amd website and then select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver again restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app over here and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder open the common folder now open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added find the game in the list once the game is added click on the game over here for gpu preference you set it to high performance you will see your graphic card over here. now launch the game next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working you can try older versions so you can go to uh, M, uh, sorry nvidia website once again for amd users go to amd website and install the older graphic card driver now select your graphic card your operating system once again and then you can on this page scroll down you will find uh, new view more versions so the latest one right now is 576.80 uh, yeah if this is not working or any latest graphic card driver is not working you can you can maybe try older one maybe 576.40 maybe 576.02 make sure that you install geforce game ready driver and for me i don't know why but this one is working for me fine 566.36 but when you go for the installation select custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to reinstall this visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you will see visual files you have to install this x86 and x64 version so download both x86 and x64 so click on it and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed now restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update you will see check for update option over here click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnected disconnect extra controller connected sometimes you have extra controller connected disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off and then you can launch the game now also if you have any other overlay application running like discord running uh, you can just uh, turn off overlay in discord settings turn off overlay in geforce 
nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay close all the overclocking application now before you close do, uh, first of all do not overclock now if you have overclocked your computer set it to default and then you can close all the overclocking application and then like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner any kind of overclocking application running close it if you have any third party services or application running make sure that you close everything also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent when you update the system bios and during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive or any external drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.